Hi, I'm Lorraine Delaney, an academic librarian from the University of South Australia Library, based in Adelaide. For several years, the library has worked closely with the Human Resources Department of the University, People, Talent and Culture, or PTC, to support the academic promotion process. Our role in helping to identify independent assessors is now embedded as a standard part of this core business. In this talk, I'll look at how this came about, challenges encountered along the way, and the approach developed to successfully undertake the task. Academic promotion at UniSA is conducted in annual rounds, with applications going to panels of senior staff for review. In some cases, assessments may be sought from internationally recognised experts who can provide independent comment on the merits of an application. Identifying these experts can present a major challenge. They need to have awareness of the applicant's academic standing, impact and influence, but also can't be too close to the applicant to be potentially biased. The initial request for support from the library came in 2020, following a major organisational restructure leading to creation of new academic units. For busy executives responsible for hundreds of academics with widely varying areas of specialisation, identifying appropriate independent experts was proving a major challenge and administrative burden. One of the newly appointed executive deans asked, could the library help? While this might seem out of scope for an academic library, it was a logical alignment for us. For years, we have actively sought to demonstrate our value beyond traditionally defined service provision. While this particular task would prove a challenge, we could leverage our expertise in navigation and analysis of scholarly communication outlets, tools, and networks. It provided a valuable opportunity to collaborate with other parts of the university to support core business. I've been involved with this initiative from the beginning. As the initial request came from a health executive dean and I'm based in the team providing primary support to health units and research centers. I was given a coordinating role in close collaboration and with the oversight of my then team manager and now library deputy director for client services, Katrina Gillespie. Our first attempt wasn't perfect, but we learnt a lot. We could not find much in the way of existing guidance on how to go about the task, and being generalist information professionals, we lacked the scholar's knowledge of specific academic fields, which would make it easier. Establishing clear definitions and parameters was a major challenge. What exactly was too close to an applicant? How should you determine if a potential assessor was recognised in the field? We experimented with a few approaches and the feedback we received in the first attempt was helpful. Analyzing forward and backward citations for an applicant's recent publications proved the most valuable. Names identified using benchmarking tools such as insights were less useful, due in large part to the imprecision of research area categorization. The initial attempt was successful enough that we were asked to undertake this support university-wide on an annual basis. This meant that all academic librarians would now be involved. My manager and I provided guidelines and training, but feedback on assessors identified for 2022 indicated we weren't quite hitting the mark yet. So for the next round, I had a major rethink. I asked the academic librarians to use their professional expertise and judgment rather than trying to anticipate and prescribe every step. We clearly defined what terms such as independent and eminent meant from a pragmatic standpoint. A range of possible approaches and strategies were provided. And we learned that as much as we wanted to provide all the information and be super transparent about our decision making, PTC really just wanted a list of names to work down. With the experience of two rounds and feedback to guide us, we extensively revised the procedures for our academic librarians. The goal and the criteria as agree with PTC are clearly stated. Here you can see the structure of the guidelines and to the right hand side are some of the strategies we have suggested our academic librarians can use to compile their lists. Since moving to this model, we've had excellent feedback from PTC, with those potential assessors contacted now more likely both to respond and to provide useful comments. Our academic librarians require minimal support and training. While we were always alert to possible changes to the process and potential enhancements, for the moment, this seems to be hitting the mark. 